Hi and welcome to another video of Dad's RC Hangar. Today we're going to be building the Falk Wolf, if I've said that right. Um, from what I've seen in the paperwork, it's pretty easy. Doesn't make sense, but hey, let's get to it. Okay, so here's the Falk Wolf in the, oh, I keep saying, <laughs> FW190 is, is easier to say in case I'm saying it wrong. Um, we've got it in our little oversized plane jig um, or whatever funky name it has. Um, now in the instructions now once again you can download them from Hobby King or you can print them off but you know you can so many tablets and god knows what else you can have a look yourself. Now it seems a bit backwards uh, in, in my in my view for the um, to put it together mainly because it tells you to put the wing on first. Now let me get this in shot. Now if um, if you put the wing on first then you're not going to be able to do your elevator and your rudder to make sure your servos are lined up because if you remember we were talking about the J3 uh, uh, the J3 Navy Cub um, that the the, uh, the horns did, when they were centered when when you power this up sorry um, they, they get centered 50 50 um, from each each end so zero in effect zero position um, and then obviously um, when that's at zero position then to say for instance your um, elevators should be also be zero position not up or down or a little bit it should be nice and straight um, and then obviously when you're trimming it's a lot easier um, <coughs> excuse me now trouble is is if I put the wing on it's going to cover all that pretty strange so anyway so we're not going to do what the instructions say um, we're going to just uh, do what we want to do after all it's our plane or my plane but we're having this journey together as to say now as I say this comes with one control horn on it does have another one in the pack um, and I should be able to squeeze this through he says now it doesn't there's no screws that go into this to hold this in and there's no pins or anything else apparently it's meant to fit in nice and snug so I'm going to go for this and it certainly feels snug it feels scarily snug if that's a word that I'm going to push it in and it's going to break well or something's going to break oh no let's get it in there okay that looks pretty middle except for the back it's not so well that's tight that is, isn't it and I think the front has come see that would be interesting actually so that that looks <coughs> excuse me I've got a frog in my throat or something today <coughs> should really cut shouldn't I and carry on but hey we're raw so <laughs> So yeah, as long as they can move up and down, I mean, you know, I don't think it's going to go down that far. If it does, I'll be surprised. Once again, big, chunky, big and chunky. But I don't think it, I'd be surprised how far these go, but, um, hmm. but that's how it goes together. As simple as that. Wow. Okay. Now. This is, should be, that is your rudder, and this is your elevators. Now the screw's quite far back. Um, I'm probably, can I, can I come in a bit closer for you? There you go, look at that, wow. Right, it's about squashing the wing over there. Didn't really put this in the correct place, but if you can see the it's quite far back and now that is 50% roughly I sh should power it up really and get it to uh, get it to its proper 50% <clears throat> that frog in my throat's coming back <clears throat> sorry about that guys and girls so let's just wind this out a tad I mean I really don't I mean the other side I mean I don't know what it is with Hobby King I really don't I mean I really try and give these guys a chance can you see how that that's where the control horn is going to be okay now on this one as you can see the control horn is lined up 
that's not as it's lined up this bad boy is like way off so you've got to really bend it round you can see that bend in it I don't, can you see that bend there you go so that's where the control hole is going to be so let's line that up look at that bend bang bang now I suppose we could get a knife in there and cut some plastic out so it, it pulls into where it's meant to go. I suppose we could try and use a screwdriver or something. Um, wasn't prepared for that, so and my screwdrivers are on the other side of the camera. Of course they are. So I'm going to see if I can do a underneath the camera job. And we can. Okay little screwdriver probably not the best thing to use but it's uh, it's basically I just want to I think probably is the best thing to use it I just want to cut into that a bit not, not go mad there we go that's it's working already so you can just cut into the foam I mean you could probably do a hobby knife maybe but I don't want to go too deep if I use a hard a shot hard a sharp hobby knife that's going to go straight in. I'm always just trying to make a, a an extra an extra push down. There we go. It's almost there. So, but I mean, I don't mind to do. I mean, I must admit, I do enjoy doing these things, bits and pieces. You know, uh, it's a bit like you know your old airfix kits or model making. As some people make planes, it's it's, it's they must get quite a kick out of it get things perfect you know um, I have got I'm gonna be spray paint airbrushing I've got some kit coming um, so the models when they have a bit of hanger rash I can try and find a paint that's close to it and okay and give them a spray well look at that that's, time to, that's ten times better ten times better in fact if I push that plastic back that's not better I can deal with that that's good. So, first tip there. So, first tip is to put the elevators on, or the horizontal stabilizer, however you like you to call it, or however you want to call it, because otherwise you're not going to get these centered. Now, I will want to power these up, and I probably will pause the video um, and power them up. Um, yes, I can just power them up. So just get a receiver actually um, in fact I think it's in my other video I got transmitter and receiver mixed up but it's the receiver that sits in the plane the transmitter that you're holding in case uh, you saw that and thought you silly sod right okay so that's that I'm happy with that that that's not gonna bend because there's nothing worse than a bendy a bendy rod so as you can see this is kind of 50% and it has got an allen key um, uh, bolt would you call it bolt and then a key grub screw I'm sure there's many names and people are going no it's that it's not that it's that but anyway whatever and Alan key goes in there to loosen it off now that is 50% um, but I don't want to sort of put the wing on because the, the wing once again this wings I'm not going to keep taking it on and off I mean you've got about a hundred cables that come off the wing into into the fuselage to be connected up you know I want to try and make a nice space for it so as you know I like my receivers nice and accessible and not just thrown in there um, so I think what I'm going to do because I might have to loosen it imagine that's really close to the end already my brother watches these videos because we don't get to see much of each other so hello big shout out to Nick in fact a big shout out to all the subscribers um, all 19 of you you know, I really appreciate you following and one of them is my brother and he does say about my nails I've got like a psoriasis thing under my nails it's um, yeah so excuse my mucky nails when I'm pointing out things it's not that bad it's just um, psoriasis or stress or whatever they've got it who knows probably stress of doing hobby king planes so that's really what it is Latin for punishment there's another one coming don't tell the wife um, yeah so I don't want to loosen that off too much uh, so it's going to be, have to be 50-50 I think um, because obviously it's this I'm out of shot at the moment in fact let's bring in shot because there's nothing worse than me doing so I think saying I'm out of shot and I think well, what the hell is he doing anyway so if um, 
So I wound that out, wind it out, not wound it, I wound it in a while, whatever. See that's still, that means I've got to come quite far to get onto that control horn and that's kind of level there. I don't, I don't like these hanging by a thread, no pun intended, uh, hanging by the thread because that's a bit scary. So I think I will push these out a bit now. I have got, um, I have got some here. Now, where are they? I actually want to make these little tall thing that you can have. So instead of having them like this, that I forget which is which end, I'm having them up the other way. But they do sell one. Aha, there you go. There you go. And it's a 1.5 millimeter Allen key. <coughs> So if I loosen that off and push these down to about there, about the, yeah, about there. So uh, can you um, can you see that? I don't think I've got too close, but it's just so there's enough enough there to grab onto. Um, hold the horn. Try to hold the horn and step that in. Might be best just to. Get a um, spanner underneath. There's an actual nut underneath, and do them up that way. But I think that's good and tight. I'm pretty certain. Of it. Oh, no, it's a couple of turns. Oh, there's a turn there. So it wasn't the tight. So I'll end up crashing at some point. Right. So get that 50 percent. Should I turn it on? Shall I? Shall I? This just means playing about. So, so with that 50%, and they're going to the, I can't remember what it said on the instructions, if it was the top, middle or bottom. But that's the top, and that's pretty, pretty darn straight. That's pretty darn straight. They, get, they come with these, these good, you can pop them in and they've got these little plastic rings that go over to stop these from opening. So that's pretty scary. You can see one on here that on the rudder, they've already done. Um, that's uh, that wheel's pretty not straight to the rudder, which is interesting. So that's going to go around corners regardless. That is interesting. And I don't know. You can't get to this. So, so what that means? See, this isn't that they got to look out for these things. I think ever since the I had the issues that uh, my trainer Keith pointed out to me um, they has got this this does have two in it now in fact if you can see on here let's do that let's do that halfway see that's way way off way off on here the rudder is not straight at all so let's loosen these off so I don't have to mess about with stuff and then if I get that straight you can see that's going in again now that straight and the wheel then so that would be the wheel the big one I can actually get that straight as well so we're not going to go around corners when we want to go straight not good for landing when suddenly the wheel wants to go and turn around when you land I would have thought that would be a lot of fun now you can put like um, <coughs> screw I've got it screw glue but it's not I just can't remember the proper name for it lock tight but it's you get different colors and um, for different strengths I think blue would probably be good so you can actually get it done if you do it with red it's very very hard to get the nut out or screw or allen bolt whatever you want to call it so I'm pretty pleased with that that's that's pretty straight so if that's kind of like almost zero or fifty percent as I like to call it um, if I move that a bit further can you see yes you can just about I don't want to sort of throw the camera about, but let's just, um, just gonna let me move it without sort of like, oh, there you go. Yeah, I think I'm already zoomed in on this one. But So now the, sh the wheel is level. Um, there you go, nice little shot there. Okay, so the rudder is straight as my eyes are telling me. Um, and the wheel is also straight on that as well. So that's that's a good thing. Now we wouldn't have been able to do that if we put the wing on. Maybe they thought that um, quality insurance was uh, that good. But you know, things get missed. No one's perfect. 
I'm sure there's plenty of resin. I am. Well, not me, but you. Um, yeah, so we could power it up. Um, already a bit of stress there. Such a shame, really. As I say, Hobby keep, keeps sending me these Friday planes. Um, so there is the uh, elevator and rudder. Now I could power these up, but I haven't got the facility. I need to make a little power up facility that I can test these at. And I really would like to do that maybe. What should I do? What should I do? It just means getting everything out and making sure that I can do it. Which is not a bad thing, I guess. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I'll get it out in a minute just before I put the uh, wing on. Um, I do love this cap. This is like, this is plastic. This is really good. Really, really good. Now you can you can sort of like heat gun, um, heat gun uh, the foam, and it does kind of go back into position. Um, as I say, here is a bit squished on there, and as I said, you've got the old markings there. Um, but I did want to do a bit more. I was going to wait until I got my spray airbrush, I say, not spray, but airbrush, um, because I have got some uh, weathering kind of paint. Um, and I'm just trying to see where I put it, and I can't. Oh, there you go. Got this, um, this is also from um, Hobby King. I get a lot of stuff from Hobby King, as you can see. This is weathering, now, even though it's got a tank on there. It's the darker here that I wanted, the darker colour, obviously blue and gold are for some other random. But you can just put weathering on here, or you can airbrush weathering. Um, just to make it look a bit more cool on the exhaust. I mean, they have done some there on the exhaust and that, but you can, you know, you could do a bit on the guns um, and uh, that sort of thing. Right, okay. Sorry, mumbling away because uh, I'm actually thinking what to do. Well, I, I think I think what we'll do is that we'll go and get the other. We'll get the other um, screws with the control horn. Um, I must admit, I didn't clear up half the other day. I do normally clear up. Um, so I do. It's, uh, it's just been sort of mad, really, and I'm really trying to get. I want to get some lots of videos out. Uh, just to just to share my passion. But right here is our control horn. You can just see that. Can you see that? I'm probably not in the best light possible, but it's there. A bird walking across the hangar at the top, by the sounds of it. And then we have uh, one small screw and one big screw in the pack. Now it's interesting that we now these are control rod ends maybe is that what they're called if anyone knows tell me but I think the control rod well that's what was on the floor but I think they're control rod ends that go on the end of the control rods um, but I've got two spare here so I don't know what they're for but I'm sure we'll find out so um, <coughs> we've got one big screw one small screw so basically with the Hobby King screwdriver that's supplied Let's put that control horn on the right way around. So presumably the big screw is for the fatter side of the elevator. He says. Let's get that in there. Oh, that's going in nice. It's going in very nice. Oh wow. Boom. And then the small one is for the back of the elevator where it's a slightly bit thinner. It's very good actually because remember we, 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 have, we had fun with some screws and somewhere around there there's a hole that this has got something that screws into he spoke too soon just, I'm not exactly sure what that screws into ah here we go here we go wherever it's screwed into it's now screwing into it isn't it's not really yeah okay I'm not complaining me complain never Okay, well that's kind of, mm -hmm. so let's unscrew this, same as the other side, and I think we went into the top hole, we'll leave it at the top hole for now. Now as I say, I can adjust the rods if I think it's too, too far out. 
but I think that is about there. That feels the same as that one. I won't put to, in fact, that's a, look at that, it's interesting. Basically, without getting a ruler out, um, the rods are the same in here. If you remember, they both meet up at the end on the servo. But here, I've got double the size thread as here. It's in the shadow, so you can't see it, but there's about 10 mil thread there and on the top one you've got 15 mil at least nearly 20 there's not a lot I can do about that unfortunately that pipe really needs to go down a bit more well I've pushed it in there so that's that's good maybe you stick some hot glue in there and stick it right down it's the same as this one it's kind of bowed as well but that should pull okay so that's pretty risky business. I mean, the thread's on there, so it shouldn't go anywhere. Um, it's, it's about the same. That feels good. So, yeah, so it looks like the rod, they cut too short on one of them. Um, be interesting to take that right out and see how much rod. I mean, this is not an ac acrobatic plane. It might be scale flying. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to hold on there. If I worry, I can always put a dab of glue on there. Hot glue. Hot glue solves everything. And basically, all you've got left is the two little end control, control horn ends. Or control, maybe they're rod control horn connectors. I'm going to have to find out that name. And then as you've got two screws for the, um, for the wing. And that's it, apart from the, the nose cone the spinner sorry and the propeller so that is that's an ultimate build isn't it that is like whack it together and fly um just got to make sure of all these little things that um everything um everything fits and everything's safe um because you can imagine if, if this control rod here comes apart rattles if I, I think i'm not sure how much is left in there it's really hard to see but you know, maybe you know. Suddenly, you know, we pull a, a quick bank or a quick elevation. Um, that might ping out, and then you've kind of lost half your elevator, which means you could go into a spin or something worse. I don't know if one goes down. I don't know, but I reckon I reckon I might just put a dab of glue on that, just a bit of hot glue, just to keep it there, just to mould it there. Um, nothing else I can do because the rod is is a little bit talking about four four mil out there so, so it's got something to hold on to they've literally cut the rod too short silly sausages alrighty well um, I think what I might do I might I'm gonna pause the video there and I'm going to power it up because I would like to see if the servos are actually at 50% um when we when we power it up just to make sure so give me a second and i'll be right back okay and we're back um to you it was like a millisecond to me i've had my dinner and everything <laughs> okay right so now i have connected a battery with a receiver that's hanging out on the other side now i'm gonna have to move this about i should have really planned so um as you can see, uh, uh, I don't know if you can see on there, probably because I can't see because I'm blind as a bat. But I've actually 1500 is what the sta you know what the standard um, servo set on on the transmitter. Now I've had to put that to 1610 on the elevators to get this so it's properly straight. When that's at when it's at 1500, that's not centre, and you can't move it the 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 whole arm should I say servo arm it doesn't slot it's it's in between so now something now I've got it straight um, and the rudder's not bad actually for that's the rudder there also now what I did notice is that when I'm doing the rudder can you see can you see the other arms moving the elevators so that's the elevators 
Now also, because they're rubbing against each other, it's making them move. So when I do in the rudder, it's only the slightest of movements, but that's making that rudder, sorry, the elevator, that's the rudder I'm turning. That's making the elevator, oh, shush. This is, there you go, let's do that. Uh, that is making the, because it's moving these rods, it's making the elevators move a couple of millimetres maybe. But a couple of metres, millimetres could move around the plane. Random. Why do they know this sort of thing? I mean, I mean, because they cross each other, I mean, it's really kind of bad designing. Really. Is that going to make a much, I mean, you probably, I don't know, I mean, you wouldn't use that much rudder anyway. I should do a real steep corrective turn. But I just want to show you the back. Can you see the back? Maybe I can move the camera around. Yes, we can. There we go. I move it forward a bit. Uh, there you go. Right. So, here's my rudder. It moves the wheel as well. And my elevators. You can actually see the actual rudder moving a little bit as well. If I just turn it there. Just, just a fraction, but that's 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 me doing the elevators. If I do the rudder, I'm gonna be careful because I've got a battery hanging out my arse of it. But if I do it there, see, so that's pretty. That's at sixteen ten on the transmitter. It's pretty level. If I do the rudder, can you just? You probably can't. It is literally uh, a couple of millimeters. You might be able to see it on the on the screen, but. See, they shouldn't, like I said, they're, they're noisy. But there you go, so that's, that's that's kind of like as level as you're gonna get it on, on the uh, on the settings. Um, so that was, I, I powered them up, got the middle of the uh, uh, servos, because uh, it centers at uh, zero or middle, however you like to call it, plus or minus, uh, center of. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty good. So um, you know, I should that should I, you should be probably best if like a, I'm just looking at this and I almost need like a protractor. So you put a protractor against here, and then look at the throw distance of the elevator when it goes up and down to see if it's the same. Because um, that's the problem I had with the J3 Navy Cub. Is that one way? And I, I think from early move, uh, earlier the movies, I actually said, "Oh, that's not right." You know, that looks like it's too much one way, and it was huge one way. Better, now what have better, I got on here? No, nope. no, that's not. No, I haven't added them to the mix yet. Yes, yes, all right. You can stop now. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> I haven't made them yet. I've just copied a model across so I could quickly do the settings. Okay, right, that's enough of me rambling on. Um, I'm just going to pause the video again um, so I can disconnect the battery. In fact, I don't need to disconnect the battery, do we? I can, uh, I can do it myself here. Um, there you go. Let's just take out the wire. So, telemetry yes, telemetry is lost. I can turn you off now. Thank you, dear. Right, so yeah, so I've got a. Uh, let's just bring this into focus a bit more. This is one of the older uh, FR Sky uh, FR Sky uh, receivers. Um, it's got like these kind of instead of just cables, they've got like these little antenna boosters. Don't know what they are, but anyway, this one hasn't got stabilisation. This is just eight channel telemetry because eight channels are. Um, throttle, let's see if I get this right, throttle, um, ailerons, flaps, undercarriage or gear, uh, elevators and LED. I think seven, seven channels I think if I count that right. Something like that anyway. But it needs a, an eight channel receiver. You could put the LED and, which I probably will do, the LED and the landing gear on the same channel. I presume, 
so when you drop the landing gear the lights come on but I don't know I don't know if you can do that I'm not trying it oh look, there's a ladybird ladybird in the hangar wow hello ladybird um, I don't want to squish you, so you might want to get on my... Let's see, if I stick you... Do ladybirds eat aeroplanes? I don't know. Let's just stick him over there. Or her over there. Who knows? Him, her. Maybe tell my ladybird. Something to do with the spots or colours, one of the things. Right, okay. Let's see enough of the ladybird. Let's talk about this warbird. Right, so. Let's uh, zoom out on the camera here. So, excuse me, why extreme zoom. zoom. There we go. Excuse me. Okay, so let's get this so I can actually right. So I think I'm happy with that uh, in there. Not happy with the rods. They literally cross over. I'm almost wondering if I should just because one of them is really but the one that I said was really bent kind of really comes round, and that's probably why it was so out you know what I, I, I'm going to can I forgot my I've got my camera yes I'm going to take a picture of this uh, because I, unless I get my little mini camera out you won't know what I'm talking about let's have the flash on there and I'll put this on the video well you'll probably see it in a second actually so I'll just say so I'll oh, see if I can take a picture does that come out there you go, the wonders of iPhones and cameras and stuff. Right, so, this is the picture I was looking at. So suddenly the picture's going to come up. As you can see, it's twisted. Really badly twisted. And this this elevator back here is the one that's going all the way around. And that's probably why it's so short. So, I reckon I'm going to undo that. That shouldn't be like that. I mean, you've got to do these things properly. Or try to do them properly. I'm sure that's not meant to be right around there. So if like that now, uh, you're not really seeing what I'm doing. I should, I, I'm gonna get some more, some sort of cameras, or I can use my run cam camera, so you can actually see what I'm doing. But all I'm doing is, Getting in the twist. I need some. I need some. What do I need? I need some pliers, mini pliers. Here we go. All I'm doing is moving that rod from underneath around. This one should be un underneath. Yes, this one should be underneath them. There you go. Now they're not going to pull, and this one, these two, are crossed as well. These should be back to the other way. So that one should be on that side. So if you, if you can imagine that they've, they've kind of gone like that, when they should be like that. So that doesn't help when you're pulling. Uh, okay, must be that I'm waffling on a lot because uh, my battery just died. <laughs> So, I'll put another battery in there. Um, Alexa's trying to think I'm talking to Sorry, her. I couldn't find a contact matching no. To see your contacts, go to the Alexa app. Alrighty, I haven't got Dr. No on there. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll probably call it on this video in a minute. I'm just going to power this up. Because um, uh, I think... Uh, We've got more to fun to come and the movie will be just too long so uh is it elevator or is it rudder first i can't remember what i did i think it's uh rudder elevator maybe who knows also remember on this <laughs> wait get brown is brown is a uh, neutral or I like to call neutral. Red is live and yellow is bus. S bus. Bus bus bus. Right, so uh, where is my transmitter? Better turn this. 
Did get the wrong way around. It's uh, it's rather than elevator. There is a T T R E L. I think it is. It's just to remember. So I work them in. I'm just putting them putting the uh, servo leads into the into the um, receiver. Right. So as you can see, with, the, with everything hanging out under the arc. There you go. You better see that. So let's steer my um, elevator. And look, it's, it's, you can see here now that it's hardly moving that one at all now. And the same with that one, I and mean, it's pushing against it because they, they're not held in. As I say, if you had a little pin in there, you can you can feel them slapping in there. But that's a hell of a lot better. And that still that looks pretty on there and bring that over there that looks pretty level to me and now I've got the other side threaded in the same as this one so I'm a lot happier now uh, as I say we need to get a protractor I might get one when I do the next video which will be the wings I'm not going to do the wings today um, yep the birds are saying it's time to call it a day I did say on the radio you've got some nice plastic hinges down here. I didn't see them. That's pretty sexy. I mean, that is a chunky rudder. Okay, so I was, <laughs> I did think it would be a quick uh, five minute job putting this together. Um, but as you can see, attention to detail at this time is, is key. Um, you know, to try and make, you know, if, if we'd have left that like that, that small bit of elevator when we was doing the rudder would, could make a, a movement that you didn't want to make. Um, so, um, yeah, I think uh, I think we're ready to put the wing on, which I'll do in the next video. Um, as I say, you can always put some Loctite on there, to, but you know, they shouldn't move. But uh, you know, it's always uh, when you bring it back to the hangar um, to have a look um, if you, if you think things have moved. Uh, definitely going to get a protractor to see if um, you can. I think you can get a tool, but I'll get a projector, protract, protractor, protractor. I can't even say the word now. Measuring tool. Um, to um, measure to see, make sure that the elevator and the uh, rudder are, are going uh, the same either way. Okay, so we'll see you in the next video. Be safe, keep flying. See you later.